Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Ground your digital realm with an enchanting footer. This tutorial explores the art of editing the footer on your Webly website. From contact information to links, shape the foundation of your digital castle. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, the first thing guys that we should do is to open our website on Webly. So as you can see here, after that, click on website and then click on edit site. Now they will take us to our dashboard. So here we should click on edit and they will take us simply to our site to the page builder that Webly has. Here I'm going to click this pop-up or to close the pop-up and then here we should actually go to the footer. For those who doesn't know what is a footer, basically it is the bottom of your website. If this is the, the header of your website where you find the menu and the logo, where the footer is pretty much the same thing but it is the bottom of your site. This is basically a footer. And in this specific video, we are going to know how to edit it. So. Here I'm going to delete every single layer that I have in here just to explain everything to you from scratch. So normally the footer has multiple things. In general it could have uh, basically menu, it could have your logo, it could have basically a lot of things. So in this specific video we are going to actually know more about footers and editing them and how to make them look more pretty and that's how we can attract more people so here I'm trying to remove everything that I don't want it to be here so here we go this is exactly what I want remove this remove that and finally let's remove this one and here we have now almost a clean footer let me just make sure that this doesn't have anything I should remove even the space let me just hover here my mouse and yeah so this is a clean photo that doesn't have anything in it so the first thing to do is to add a section so I'm going to add a section and here it should be a menu this is very important so here the menu it could be like a food menu or something like that featured here you will find something like that but for us here we're not going to really add any section or already made section because here they are already made. I'm not going to use something that is already made by them, but I'm going to show you how to build it from scratch. So the first thing to do for me is to actually add something from this uh, this drop uh, grab and drop option that we have right here. So for example, I want to add a logo. I'm going to drag this image right here and then I can simply upload a photo from your computer. So I'm going to use ChatGPT for example as a photo and put it right there. So this is just an example. Now for the image we can edit it and we can make it for example add some color, saturation, crop it, filters or here if you want to we can really click on it double. So let me just click on it double click. Let's go here. Uh, let me just remove this okay here we go and yeah just like that I'd like my logo to be somewhere like that here um, what I want to edit the background I don't like the background to be this color so I'm going to make it a little bit more lighter okay this is brighter than the uh, than it used to be so this is perfect for me I'm going to move it to the left and in here I would like to add for example a text so I'm going to remove it here and let's wait it for it to load and yeah we can put it right here and basically here I'm going to add my website name for example I'm going to name it for now tutorial and I'm going to put it in the middle or we can put it in the right or the left and let's try to put it right here I'm going to here to make it bold and just like that we have like basically a logo with a text next to it so this is for uh, like the logo and etc we can add some stuff to it if you want to but I'm not really interested in it so I'm just gonna keep it as it is for now so after we did that we need to add for example um, like some button so we can click here 
and add a button right here so I'm going to add it here and let's change the button to be for example uh, subscribe now so let's me just change something subscribe now and as you can see here let's check the color well I don't really like the color so I'm going to click on button style and I want it to be white when I hover it, it becomes black. This is, seems to be right. Also, for here, you will find like uh, the theme option. You can here literally change the colors of your theme, etc. You can turn it dark, you can turn it light, depending on what you want exactly. So, it will change a lot of stuff in your website. So, make sure to choose the colors that you want from this section right here. So, here you can change the theme if you would like to. And here you can change the font and some theme option that you would like to have. So here it seems to be nice. So this is for now. I'm going to the build. Um, I would like to add, for example, a text. So here I'm going to add some text. And there we go. And what I'm going to do is basically name it, for example, home page. So home. There we go. And this home page, I would like it to be in black and let's give it a url connection so i want it to be url connection and i want it to be connected to this home page so i'm going to connect into it and here normally you should give it like an index since i don't have basically uh, a paid website or basically a domain name connected to my website well that's a reason why um basically i can't really link it with any link but for you guys simply just put your url here www your domain name here and dot com for example slash home page so it should be something like that slash home page or slash home and this link should be added to your website so it is pretty easy to add just make sure that you have http or https in the first of your website to actually link it the same goes for your button you can add a link to a standard page product page blog post phone file email whatever you want from this option you can actually change that so after you do so with your home page just keep doing the same with other pages so click here add a new page as you can see right here and add for example uh, about us here we go make it in black let me just color it black and as you can see now I have another page here I can add a new page which is gonna be for example um, here a privacy policy and so go on so you can do a lot of things to your footer without having any problems this is how you show you do it this is the way to add the menu to your footer you just have to like them with the correct page after you finish simply just click on publish which is right there and your footer should be saved so yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial